In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom digital planner cover and I will also show you ways how to import and use those covers in GoodNotes. If you love digital planning and want more contents like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when new videos come out. If you have watched my step-by-step -step video tutorials on how to create a digital planner from zero and you tried recreating them, you'll notice that the cover pages will automatically be set and it is the first page in the planner. And the first pages in those digital planners are either the calendar page or the monthly cover pages or some other type of page and they don't usually look like the cover page of an actual notebook if you know what I mean. So today I'm going to show you how to create your own covers so let's start. I'm going to use the Procreate app and for the canvas size, I'm going to use the A4. Let's design the digital planner cover. For this design, I want to create an abstract type of cover and to do that, click the wrench icon and under canvas, turn on the drawing guide. Then let's tap the edit drawing guide option. We want the drawing guide to be set in symmetry and in radial mode. You can change the color of your guide here and you can also adjust the opacity and thickness of your drawing guide if you like. Top done once you are satisfied. Since it is abstract, you can choose any brush that you want and any colors that you like and I already prepared my color palette here. I think this is enough, so let's turn off the drawing assist in the layer menu. Let's also turn off the drawing guide. In the magic wand icon, you can play around the adjustments here. You can add some blur or noise or halftone or whichever you like. I want to play with the liquify tool, so let's choose that. You can use the push, twirl right or left, pinch or expand, crystallize, and edge to add more design to the cover. I like this design already, so let's create another layer. This time, you can add a space where you can write the name of your digital notebook later on. But if you don't want that, you can skip this process. To make it look more like a notebook, let's add an elastic band. To do that, let's add another layer. This time, let's use the monoline brush from the calligraphy brush set. Then select the color you want the elastic band to be. Draw a line and wait until it snaps into a straight line, then tap the screen with your finger to make the line snap to vertical. On the layer menu, duplicate this layer, reposition duplicate, and make sure that your snapping tools are turned on. This enables you to move the elements perfectly. Also, make sure to leave a little gap between the two lines. Then let's merge these two layers together. Then duplicate again. After that, let's reposition the duplicate. Then merge the two layers again. Then duplicate again. Now let's select the lower duplicate. Then on the adjustment menu, select the Gaussian Blur and adjust. Once satisfied with the blur effect, let's reposition it slightly to the right. I want a darker color for the shadow and to change that, select the color that you want, then turn on the alpha lock, then fill the layer. I'm also going to reposition the elastic band. Now let's export the artwork as a PNG file and save the image. The next method is to create notebook covers using pictures. Create a canvas on Procreate again and to insert a photo, tap the wrench icon and under the Add option, select the Insert a Photo. Then select the image that you want to use. 
This artwork is actually my wallpaper and also my design element on my July digital planner so it may look familiar. Here I am resizing and repositioning the image until satisfied. Then add the elastic band designs again and after that export as PNG files. If you want more notebook cover ideas, you definitely should follow me on TikTok and send me a design request through the Q&A there and maybe I'll make a tutorial on how to create your requested digital notebook cover. Now let's go to the GoodNotes app to add the covers. The first way that I add the digital covers is to open the notebook, then go to the first page. Using the plus icon here, let's tap before and then image. Then select the image. And here you can now see our design as the notebook cover. The other way on how to add the digital notebook covers that we created is to turn it into a cover template. To do that, tap the gear icon, then select notebook templates. Make sure to select the cover and here are the default cover templates available in GoodNotes and to add your design, choose any group here and swipe the notebooks to the left and select import. Select from photos, then choose your design. You can also create a new group by using this plus icon. Once the design is already set as a cover template, you can use it when creating a new notebook. You can also add it in your existing notebooks that you have. To do that, go to the very first page of the notebook, then add a new page again and select before. Then tap the more from templates option and select cover and find your design from the cover templates. An additional trick for those of you who created the September digital planner with me, go to the first page of that planner which contained the cover page and let's screenshot this one. Crop the image then save it to photos. Then do the process of adding a new page again. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share this video to your friends, family, and everyone else. It will help me and the channel immensely in reaching more digital planning friends. This is Kazel and until next time, bye!